European news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Someday I will understand why people who are known for their physical abilities or for pretending to be something they are not are given a platform to spew their stupidity in our society. Lindsay Vaub who no one knew by name just a month ago, other than for being Tiger Woods woman a couple of years ago, is now known as the infamous Olympic skier who recently suffered a minor back injury in Switzerland while preparing for the upcoming Winter Olympics in South Korea after she told fake news CNN that she would not visit Trump's White House upon being invited as a member of the U.S. Olympic team. Now she is trying to backtrack after the huge backlash she got from Wallace freedom-loving patriots. Don't you just love it when a moron who knows how to ski well pretends they are a political guru? This woman is very good at what she does, why does she insist on sticking her foot in her mouth is beyond me. And why is the fake news network, CNN, asking these idiots if they will visit the White House or not? The White House is a place of business. Not a place to make these athletes with overblown egos feel good. Normal, everyday taxpayers like us don't get invited to the White House, why should they? Because they know how to throw a damn ball around or go fast? Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The Guardian reports. Lindsey Vaughn, I want to represent the US, not Trump at Winter Olympics. Olympic champion becomes latest athlete to speak out against Trump. Vaughn, 33, says she would turn down traditional invite to White House. American skier Lindsey Vaughn has become the latest athlete to speak out against Donald Trump. The most decorated female skier of all time told CNN in an interview that aired Thursday that she wants to represent the people of the United States, not the president and would turn down the invitation to the White House traditionally put forth to the entire U.S. Olympic team. I take the Olympics very seriously and what they mean and what they represent, what walking under our flag means in the opening ceremony," Vaughn said. I want to represent our country well. I don't think that there are a lot of people currently in our government that do that. When asked if she would accept an invitation to the White House, Vaughn was to the point, absolutely not. Nope. I have to win to be invited so, no. Actually I think every U.S. team member is invited. So, no, I won't go. Vaughn, who turned 33 in October, is preparing for her first Winter Olympics since 2010, when she vaulted to global stardom after capturing gold in the women's downhill and bronze in the Super G. She missed the Sochi Games four years later while rehabilitating from knee surgery. The Minnesota native has logged the record 77 career World Cup victories more than any other woman and second overall to Sweden's Ingemar Stenmark. She is a four-time overall World Cup champion and one of six women to have won World Cup races in all five disciplines of alpine skiing, downhill, Super G, giant slalom, slalom, and super combined. Vaughn is not the first high-profile athlete to speak out against the Trump administration. Trump launched a sensational attack on NFL players who have kneeled in protest of the national anthem during a speech in Alabama in September, challenging the league's owners to release anyone who engages in the movement started last year by former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. The fiery rhetoric prompted criticism from dozens of NFL players and even league commissioner Roger Goodell, who said the vice of comments like, Trump's demonstrate an unfortunate lack of respect for the NFL. That same week Stephen Curry, the two-time NBA Most Valuable Player who in June led the Golden State Warriors to second league title in three seasons, told reporters he supported a snub of the team's traditional White House visit, earning a stern rebuke from Trump, who withdrew the invitation. The Cleveland Cavaliers star forward LeBron James called the president the bum while the Buffalo Bills running back LeSean McCoy went further, calling Trump an asshole. In the CNN interview, Vaughn also responded to the IOC's unprecedented decision to ban Russia's Olympic Committee from the Winter Olympics, which kick off in February. If even a small percentage of that is true I would think the IOC did the right thing, she said. Obviously, there are potential athletes that are clean but they have the option now to compete under a neutral flag, which I think is a good solution.
but doping and what the Russians did is just not acceptable and we have to make that clear. And make sure that it doesn't happen again. Bond's final preparations for Pyeongchang hit a minor snag when she crashed out of last week's season opening downhill event in Lake Louise, Austria. So this genius states that she is there to represent Americans, not President Trump. But she forgot President Trump is also an American and he is our president, so her argument is about as stupid as she looks. This is what happens when we as a society engage in hero worship. I hope that for her sack the skiing thing pans out because I'm pretty sure she's not qualified to do much else. Please share if you are sick and tired of athletes and actors pretending to be political gurus. Gurus.